Okay, waiting for our Cooper Hawk to sail back in with the next twig. And I pulled into the parking lot, uh, saw one fly in and then the other. And then the one was in there working, it was the female I believe, and she just got it all, just shaped her body, wove the stick in there and got it all squared away. She was in there for a little bit and then uh, once she was satisfied with the shape and the twig all woven in there, she took it off and made her call, so I don't know if she's going to just stay perched or come back with another twig. We'll watch for a little bit. And in this one comes. Okay. That's her giving her call. Kek, 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 kek. <laughs> so if Romeo's around, maybe he'll come in there and help her out. They're talking about it. Oh, yeah, we got good filtered light. It's not raining, and uh, we're down by the caveman kitchen nest. Right around 9 o'clock in the morning. And she's been busy, been in here a couple of times already, shaping the nest and giving her little calls. So we're all excited about it. First came in, like I say, one went in and then the other one, they were both in the nest and then they talked about it and then they, one took off and the other one worked in the nest a little bit and then took off and then uh, now come back in here checking everything out. Looks like we're going to have a good day at the Cooper Hawk. Yes. We'll check our other nest too because uh, we have two within a mile of each other. Again, this is the caveman kitchen nest, and the other one's down by the Neely Homestead. It's right, almost right next to the Green River, so. We're getting a good view today. The leaves aren't all the way out, so she's going to be fairly good camouflage for her here in another week. But we got a couple of good positions where we can still shoot past the leaves, I think. Oh yeah, she used to get in that shape. No, oh, this is going to be comfortable because she's going to be on there incubating them eggs. She wants to be comfortable, so they've got that nest in tip-top shape now. Oh yeah, she's serious about it. She's just happy that it's not raining. They did have a fairly good sprinkle last night, so. They're both celebrating the morning here with no rain, getting their chores done. And we're having a wonderful time watching her. This is Cooper Hawk shaping her nest, getting ready to get her clutch together in about a week or so. And then we'll start our incubation and our nesting cycle. She'll incubate the eggs, she'll come in and relieve her and bring her food. And then he'll take, oh, look at her posing up there. Isn't that nice? Look at this gal. Good looking, Cooper Hawk. Perfect pose now. <laughs> well, can't get better than that. Look at that. When she's incubating, he actually relieves her, and then he'll get on the eggs for a bit too, so. And off she goes over to her favorite perch. All right. 